Greetings people, tis I, 480 volts, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Now in the last video, we ended with, what, a hundred gold sculptulas and, um, what, 20 heart pieces? And as you can see, we now seem to have less than that. Yeah, don't panic, all I did was just reload this old save state that I made before we did any of that other stuff. So everything we did in the last video is safe, safely contained up here and here. But this, this is before, this save state that we're currently on takes place right after we rescued um, Naburu in the Spirit Temple. And Raru told us to go to the Temple of Time. I wanted to show this now because it would be more dramatic now than to do it right before doing a whole bunch of side quests. So let's work our way to the Temple of Time. And for extra dramatic effect, we're going to walk there and not warp there. Though you can absolutely warp there and this works. I imagine once you save your game and then like restart it, you know, and you restart in the Temple of Time, it, the cutscene's gonna take place. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go up this way. And cutscene time. I have been waiting for you, Link. Who's there? Sheik, how did I know it was gonna be you? What's your deal anyway, buddy? Link, the hero of time. You have overcome many hardships and awakened six sages. And now, you have a final challenge. A showdown with Ganondorf, the king of evil. Not hard to do. Before that, I have things I want to tell only to you. Please, listen. Alright, um, you got my attention. Lay it on me. Another unknown legend of the Triforce, passed down by the Shadow Folk, the Sheikas. How many legends do you need? If you would seek the sacred triangle, listen well. I don't really, well. The resting place of the sacred triangle, the sacred realm, is a mirror that reflects what is in the heart. Okay, that's, you're talking riddles. The heart of one who enters it. If an evil heart, the realm will become full of evil. If pure, the realm will become a paradise. Okay, I'm tracking. The Triforce, the sacred triangle, it is a balance that weighs the three forces, power, wisdom, and courage. If the heart of one who holds the sacred triangle has all three forces in balance, that one will gain the true force to govern all. So if one person is equally dumb, stupid, and strong, like equally dumb, stupid, and weak, I should say, um, then uh, they could still rule the world. But if that one's heart is not in balance, the Triforce will separate into three parts. Power, wisdom, and courage. Oh. No, okay. Only one part will remain for the one who touched the Triforce. The part representing the force that that one most believes in. If that one seeks the true force, that one must acquire the two lost parts. Well, what happens to them? Those two parts will be held within others chosen by destiny, who will bear the Triforce mark on the backs of their hands. Let me guess, I need to look at the back of my hand. Seven years ago, Ganondorf, the King of Thieves, used the door you opened in the Temple of Time and entered the Sacred Realm. But when he laid his hands on the Triforce, the legend came true. Oh, we didn't expect that. The Triforce separated into three parts. Only the Triforce of Power remained in Ganondorf's hand. Well, sounds like he got the best one. The strength of the Triforce of Power enabled him to become a mighty evil king, but his dark ambitions were not satisfied. Oh, I get it. He could only take over Hyrule Castle Market Town. The rest of the world seems just fine. 
they don't actually explain, like, he was able to take over the world, but he still wanted more. Like, his ambitions were not satisfied. I guess it's just the whole, like, once you have a little bit of power, even if it's enough to do a lot, you end up wanting all of it. To gain complete mastery of the world, Ganondorf started looking for those chosen by destiny to hold the other two Triforce parts. The one who holds the Triforce of Courage is... You, Link! I knew it. I freaking knew it. And let me guess, Zelda holds the other one? And the other who holds the Triforce of Wisdom... is the seventh sage who is destined to be the leader of them all. Oh, there's a seventh sage? See, I knew there were seven sages. I wasn't wrong. Wait, it's you? I thought it would be Zelda. What? What's your deal, Sheik? Wait, what the... What? Wait, Sheik, is that you? Were you a girl this whole time? It is I, the Princess of Hyrule. Zelda. Dun dun dun! Yeah, there's the big, huge spoiler thing that I have been trying to not uh, spoil, but, like, I'm pretty sure everybody who even knows anything about Link and Zelda knew that to be true. You don't even have to play this game to know that. You just have to play Smash Bros. And you know that Zeke, uh, Sheik and Zelda are the same thing. Well, you grew up, Zelda. You sure did. I apologize for meeting you in disguise, but it was necessary to hide from the King of Evil. Please forgive me. N no apology needed. Now, obviously, we couldn't have you parading around in your Zelda attire. Matter of fact, you probably didn't need to take it off just now. You probably should have stayed looking like the other guy a little bit longer. So if you want to switch back to your ninja clothes, that might be a good idea. On that day, seven years ago, Ganondorf attacked Hyrule Castle. Now, I was there. I saw you as I was escaping from the castle with my attendant, Impa. Oh, what a coincidence! I saw you too! What are the odds of that? That we passed each other and we saw each other. Doesn't feel like seven years, huh? I thought I should entrust the ocarina to you. I thought that would be our best chance. Well, that's what you get for thinking, sweetheart. As long as you had the ocarina in your possession, I thought Ganondorf could never enter the sacred realm, but... But I kind of left the do door wide open, didn't I? Something I could never expect happened. I know. It's all my fault. After you opened the door of time, the Master Sword sealed you away in the sac sacred realm. Yeah, what's up with that? Too young? Like, what kind of video game is this? Your spirit remained in the sacred realm, and then the Triforce fell into Ganondorf's hands. He went on to invade the sacred realm. Ganondorf had become the evil king, and the sacred realm became a world of evil. All of this is an unfortunate Coincidence. What? The, this coincidence? No. I, no, I still think you planned it, Zelda. I passed myself off as a Sheikah and hoped that you would return. I waited for seven years. And now you are back. The Dark Age ruled by Ganondorf, the evil king, will end. Well, we still got to boot him to the head real quick. The sages will open the sacred door and lure Ganondorf back into the sacred realm. How are they going to do that? With a dog bone? I will then seal the door to the sacred realm from this world. Thus, Ganondorf the evil king will vanish from Hyrule. Sounds good to me. Link, in order to do this, I need your courage again. Please protect me while I do my part. And here is a weapon that can penetrate the evil king's defenses. The power given to the chosen ones. The Sacred Arrow of Light. Yeah, it's like the silver arrows, but not quite the same. That was the extra item that I said you might notice in my inventory. I've been trying not to show too much attention to it, but yeah, you might have seen it. Another arrow upgrade. The third and final one. And we actually will use that one, but it's not really useful outside of the plot. You got the light arrow. Yeah, yeah. The light of justice will smite evil. What's that sound? Is there a storm or something? S somebody playing the song of storms? 
That rumbling! It can't be! What the? Princess Zelda, you foolish traitor. I commend you for avoiding my pursuit for seven long years. But you let your guard down. I knew you would appear if I let this kid wander around. Oh. Yeah, you know what? That wasn't very smart of you, Zelda, to uh, drop your ninja to disguise. My only mistake was to slightly underestimate the power of this kid. Yeah, that was a big mistake on your part. No, it was not the kid's power I misjudged. It was the power of the Triforce of Courage. Well, if you had the Triforce of Wisdom, you wouldn't have made that mistake. But with the Triforce of Wisdom that Zelda has, when I obtain these two Triforces, then I will become the true ruler of the world. If you want to rescue Zelda, come to my castle. Well, that doesn't seem very smart. Just dare me to come after you. I will. Well, the truth is he wants me to come find him because, well, he needs the Triforce of Courage that I have. But my question is, why did he only kidnap Zelda? Why didn't he drop a crystal cocoon around the two of us and bring us both there? Because then he would just have both of them. Like, why? That didn't make sense. Uh, Nintendo logic. Anyway, now I have the, um, the, yeah, the light arrows. So let me just reload this state. Now I have all of my heart pieces and gold sculpture uh, things. And uh, this is what Navi has been saying this whole time. We have to save Princess Zelda from her imprisonment in Ganon's castle. Yeah, we probably should get on that, shouldn't we? And uh, I actually went ahead and from this village, I bought a green potion. They restore your magic powder power. I can see that being useful in this place. All right. So now it is time to begin the final stretch. This is probably going to take two videos. Well, it's, yeah, I'm going to separate it by two videos. So what we want to do. Yeah, it would have been like way too anticlimactic if I showed that cutscene and then was like, all right, time to go do side quests. Like, no, like I wanted, I wanted to give that the proper video it deserved. All right, so here we are in Hyrule Castle Town. Let me just circle around and head over to Ganon's Castle. Now, I'm not sure how we're going to get to Ganon's Castle, considering it's kind of floating over a bottomless pit, but, well, let's just walk up to it and see if we can't figure something out. Link, can you hear me? It's Raru the Sage. Hey, bud. We six will gather our power to create a bridge to the castle where Gadendorf dwells. That sounds like a great idea. The castle's keep, which is known as Ganon's Tower, is protected by six evil barriers. Bring down the six barriers and save Princess Zelda. I got you, buddy. I'm on it. Now, I have an interesting question about Zelda and Sheik. Also, that's cool. So, Zelda... What is the deal... What about her alter ego being Sheik? I think that's kind of cool. Oh, hang on. I'll, t I'll ask. I'll talk about it later. Uh, right now, we're inside Ganon's castle. Now, this is actually my favorite final area of a Zelda game, even though I've only played and beaten four of them um and it looks like it's gonna be rough because you got these two statues just guarding the door now if you zip by them you'll be fine but you got to be kind of fast and it's like it kind of makes me think of super mario bros 3 honestly where it's like you know that statue right at the beginning but um you know in the first two zelda games well really in the first three the 
mostly the first two. The final area was just a, 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 an emotional, uh, spiritual, and physical just gauntlet of an ordeal. And I, Ze uh, Link to the Past, it was a little less uh, of that and a bit more just puzzle solving. Um, this one is actually my favorite of, of all of them because this is like really... It's, it's really cool. What we got going on here, the main entrance is across this bridge. But it's locked. It's sealed. Oh, I didn't know I actually took damage from that. Good to know. I probably shouldn't have touched it. Okay, don't touch it. You have to break the seal by... You can see there's like these six beams of energy emanating from these sections here. So we have to dispel those. We do that by going through these areas right here and uh, collecting... Uh, well, we just, yeah, we go, yeah, by going through these areas. I'll just leave it that way. Um, these different color-coordinated areas that correspond to the different medallions that we have collected. And you can technically do them in mostly in any order. There's one of them. It's the fire one up here. We can't do that one until we have done the shadow one. So I'm going to go ahead and do the shadow one first. And then, uh, and then we'll be, and then you can do the rest of them in any order you want. All right, so let me. So the way this this works is I have to um, complete some puzzles based on like. Okay, that's not working. Um, yeah, just I'm not even gonna worry about that guy. Um, that guy's just where he is. Oh, um, is Navi going nuts over there? Looks like there's probably a Song of Time block. And it doesn't seem like we have any music either. So I have an interesting question about Zelda and Sheik. So like, she disguised herself as a Sheikah to hide from Ganondorf. Now, I'm curious, d like is she an actual Sheikah? Like does she have like Sheikah blood in her? Like, like is there, is that in her bloodline? Um. I kind of wonder if, uh, you know, so probably not. Like, I'm probably just looking too deep into it. Like, probably, in all likelihood, this is what happened. Impa took her away, and then, in secret, taught her the, um, secret, uh, the, you know, arts of being a, a Sheikah ninja. That would probably be my guess. Uh, you can hookshot here, or you can light this torch on fire, and it'll reveal a few, um, hidden platforms. I'm gonna see if I can actually do this. Um, use that like like I can't I can't hit the like like that's dumb okay never mind um I'll do it the way you're supposed to I'll do it the way you're supposed to I was trying to save some magic that's all um use some fire arrows yeah like I'm actually curious like maybe um Impa just took Zelda away and taught her how to be a Sheikah, or maybe like Zelda has like an like actual Sheikah blood. Like, is is it is it possible that Impa is her mother? Like that she married the King of Hy Hylia or the King of Hyrule in secret? Is that is that like I'm probably looking way too deep into it. Like for a Nintendo game, that kind of plot is is probably not what we're looking for, but, you know, it just makes me wonder. Oh, watch out for the like, like... No, 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 no! Ah, oh, Link, you gotta be kidding me. That's why I saved. Ugh, the controls. Not a fan. Also, why did I put the freaking, um, arrows there? That was dumb. I have to fix that. There we go. Oh, there is some music. I hear it now. All right, let me go ahead and uh, put the ocarina back where it belonged. The arrows needed to be here. I mean, it's not a big deal, but that's just that's what I'm used to. All right, what else can I do? Oh, Matt, no, you gotta be kidding me. That magic just went down there. That's what. Uh, what are you? That's so dumb. Okay, whatever. Um, basically, I need to. There's another. Well, there's another torch. Um, well, yeah, I'll just light this torch again. 
Just do it that way. Oh, come on. I'm wasting magic. I was trying to give the analog stick the tiniest little tilt. Anyway, there's a platform right here. And there's one right here. And I need to get down to this switch. That's a little freaky. There we go. That works. And then... Come on, Link. Come on, Link. There we go. What could possibly be in this big chest? I thought I got all the treasures. And we got the Golden Gauntlets. You can feel even more power coursing through your arms. Grab A and lift stuff up. Awesome! Yeah, you kind of need those to uh, continue. Let me go ahead and uh, use the Lens of Truth to reveal this right here. Be very careful. Don't fall. Take your time. And I need my hammer for this switch. There we go. Now, there is an... Uh, where, where those hearts are, um, there's another uh, sort of windy platform that you can see with the Lens of Truth. Like that, so you can use that to go. Or if you're feeling lazy, you can just hook shot over to this thing right here. All right, let's go through here. All right, now first of all, do these, does, do these chests contain anything good? Yeah, good, I actually needed that stuff. All right, so when you see this uh, purpley core sort of thing, what you want to do is grab a grab yourself a light arrow. Take aim. And fire. Hey Impa. The shadow barrier is dispelled. Please save the princess. I'm on it. Okay. Yeah, even though you can pr technically do these in any order, you need the Golden Gauntlets to be able to complete one of them. But yeah, the Shadow Barrier, uh, basically, yeah, that, uh, the Shadow section of the Barrier is dispelled. So, uh, let's just continue. Um, let's go ahead and do the Fire one. This is where you need, um, the Golden Gauntlets. Now, let's see. Okay, we have a time limit. Um, let me save... Because this one kind of tripped me out a little bit. I had trouble with this one. We have to collect uh, silver rupees, right? Now, this platform, if you stand on it too long, it falls into the lava, and so does this platform. But, if you put on your hover boots, this one no longer, um, uh, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't fall. I can stand on the... Never mind, never mind, never mind. I take that back. I thought that if you wore your hover boots, it will not sink, but that appeared to sink right down to the bottom. Am I tripping? I could have sworn that. I know these platforms will still fall. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, yeah, you know what? I. Honestly, I can't do this with hover boots. I, can, I have to do some of it with hover boots, but a lot of it I can't do with hover boots. I'm just going to get back. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Get on. Ah! That's such a narrow little platform for me to grab. Wow. It's these controls, man. I know I, I say like, I know I'm like blaming everything on the controls and it's probably just me sucking at the game. But like, no, they don't feel natural. I'm not even gonna go for the heart. I'm just gonna get up here. This is where I need to be. Okay. Now this thing right here, normally you'd be at a dead end, but once you've gotten the golden gauntlets, you can actually, uh, you can do something with this. Pick it up, Link. Oh, there it is. Yeah, you can grab it.
Dang! Okay, Link, tell me how you really feel. Yeah, no, that's uh, that's the golden gloves and the golden gauntlets in action. All right, now I am going to uh, switch the to the hover boots. I like to use them interchangeably because uh, it does make some of these sections a little easier. Let's put them on. I need to get over there. I want to be kind of somewhat careful as. Okay, never mind. Um, I don't need I don't need the hover boots there. Yeah, I actually don't. Oh boy. Bad, 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 bad. Yeah, I knew that was going to be a problem. Man, for a second, I thought this was Mario 64, and I was like, as soon as that fire touches me, he's going to be like, ah, and he's going to like run around, and then he's going to go out of control, and then I was like, no, this is Zelda. He, this, this is, uh, this is, uh, Link. He just, he just kind of goes, ah, and keeps on going. All right, just, just run, 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 run. I right, take, take the hit. I don't care. Kill that guy. Maybe kill him. Yeah, I could use the magic, but don't fall. All right. Now, here's the tricky part. I'm going to kind of glide over here. I can stand on this for as long as I want. Better remove the hover boots. And I better save. Because this is the tricky jump right here. This is the tricky jump right here. Get the coin, and then quickly get over here. You kind of don't want the hover boots there, because um, if you don't have, if you have the hover boots, Link will not do that little jump when he reaches the edge, and that's what you need. Uh oh, I'm running out of time. I can't aim properly. That wasn't good. Such a hard target to nail. Oh, come on. I was totally it. I think I'm going to have to wear my hover boots. I don't see any other way of getting over there. That guy's going to be annoying. I just know it. There we go. Alright, I shouldn't need these things anymore. Go through the door, and the time limit is over. And once more, I need my, um, light arrow. I'm trying to see if, yes, I was, I was hoping I could get a heart. Sweet. Light arrow. Hey, Darunia. The fire barrier is dispelled. Hurry up, brother. I gotcha. Don't tell me to hurry up. Don't rush me. All right, two down. Four to go. Right? Or can I count right? Well, first off, there's something here. I'll I'll save that one for last. There's no reason for me to save that one for last, but I just will. Um I know what I'll do. Let's find I'll get this one out of the way. This one we're kind of dealing with ice. Now, I need to use, I hate using my fairy bottles, but I do need to have an empty bottle. It's okay, it's okay, I'll get, I'll get a fairy back in there at some point, hopefully. But I am going to need, uh, empty bottles. For this right here, you got some blue fire, so just watch out for it. Oh, I should've, ugh, I should've saved that chest for later, because it has a heart. Um, 
I didn't mean to use magic. Uh, there we go. Die already. Okay, so kill all the enemies, and then it raises the bars over there. What's in this chest? Uh, a trap. Ice trap. That's nice. I knew it was there, too. I just wanted to get it for OCD purposes. All right, let's stock up on some blue fire. I'm, I'm just going to use one bottle. I could fill up. It'd probably be more practical to fill up all of my bottles, but I'm just going to use one. You really only need two. So what I recommend is going back and just filling up the one that you already filled up. Oh, that's going to hit me. It's going to land right on me. Look at that. Oh, wow. Somehow it missed me. All right, now this room right here. Yeah, we got another room like this. And now it's timed. Yay! Actually, this room's not that hard. Took me a sec. It's, yeah, it's not that hard. What you want to do is you want to... I'll just quickly show you what you do. You push this block. No, 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 no. Don't climb it. Don't climb it, Link. Do not climb it, Link. Grab it. Push it this way. So it stops there and hits that bumper. Now push it into that slot. And that gives this block a clear shot to that bumper. I'm also going to try to avoid collecting the pots because I believe um, the pot, one of those pots has a fairy in it. And I would like to capture that fairy. So if I can avoid um, breaking the pot, that would be awesome. Push. No, stop climbing on top of it, Link. The time limit shouldn't be a problem. I should have more than enough time. Alright, so I did that. Let me climb up here. Climb up here. Use my last bit of blue fire. <clears throat> that switch is rusty, so I need the, the hammer. Yeah, there we go. And that raises the bars, and then it's just easy. But I'm gonna go ahead and see... Uh, in my practice runs, this pot has always had a fairy. So I'm going to hope that that is the case right now, because I would like to... Yes. Catch it. Yes! Sweet. Sweet, I've got two fairies. That's that's useful. Um, it's just for the final boss, I want to have a little bit of insurance. And uh, I don't know what happens if the time limit runs out. I assume you just... Uh, you get sent to the start. All right, so we did that, and then there's the core. And take aim, fire! And there's Ruto. The water barrier is dispelled! Hurry up! That's, I'm, that's probably literally exactly how she would say it too. Hurry up! You're taking too long! Alright. Three down, three to go. That's what I hear. And I'll do spirit next. All right, this one is actually not difficult. So um, all you got to do is, um, well, kill that guy because he'll just get on your nerves. All right, so we need to collect silver rupees. Oh no, I want the bomb. I want the bomb. So we need to collect silver rupees. Uh, there's no time limit or anything, so that makes this room not so bad. Uh. Oh, but there are traps that I just I just let myself get hit by that trap, and he hit me again. That's fine. That's fine. I see a heart. Let's see if I can actually touch the heart without. Taking another hit. Alright. So here's what you can do in this place, right? 
So now these um, silver coins right here, it seems almost impossible to uh, get them without taking a hit. And you might think, you know what, I'll just go ahead and take the hit. You can do that. You absolutely can. Or, if you want to, you can move this statue out of the way, freeze up the trap, now quickly move the statue back into place, and now the trap is stuck that way. So that makes that much easier. Now I'm going to... I'm going to trap him again. I'm going to trap the trap. No, nope. need to move it back some more. Ah, I didn't quite make it. I hope... How is that... Okay, that, that makes no sense. I call baloney. There, trapped it. Trapped it. Now I'm going to do the same thing here. There we go. Just grab that. Open up the thing. Now, is there a chest in here or something? I feel like there's a chest in here. Let me just have a quick look around with the lens of truth and make sure there is nothing actually here. Uh, I don't need you hit touching me. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything here. Okay, cool. Oh, hey guys. Um, die? Thank you. Alright, let's see. We got two crystal switches. Now this one I can easily do that. And that opens up a chest. But how do I get that one? Um, well as you can see there's a little uh, opening right up there. So I don't know if it's possible to actually like throw a bomb in there. It's probably not. So what you're actually supposed to do is um, grab yourself a bomb chew and uh, do that. Thankfully, it doesn't really matter if you hit it dead on or not, because the blast radius is so uh, so big that it it makes no difference. Now, if you're if you're wondering, well, what if you don't have any bomb chews? Well, this chest right here contains bomb chews. So there you go. So they give you what you need, you know, just in case you don't have it. Um, just like this area, you got some sun plaques, and so you already know what the puzzle is, but there's no sunlight. What are you supposed to do? Well, you can uh, <clears throat> use your fire arrows and shoot that obvious cobweb up there. Now, I didn't know. I had to go online to figure out what that was, because it didn't click with me that that was cobweb. And if you don't have the fire arrows, you could actually, I've heard, I don't know if this is true or not, but I've heard you can, you can shoot an arrow if you aim just right, you can actually shoot an arrow through these torches. I don't know if you can or not. I don't see how that would work. But supposedly you can. Um, maybe. Anyway, we got the uh, we got the sunlight. So let's just... Uh, let's use it and let's... Um, let's blind this token. Oh, that was the wrong one. Crap. Yeah, if you hit the wrong one, it makes a buzzing sound, and then you just want to keep moving because there is a wall master, so kill him. Um, yeah, don't hit... Which one is it? Well, we about to find out. No, it's not that one either. Okay. Only one of them is correct. I wonder if it's randomized. Because I could have sworn in my practice run it was the, the first one I hit. Like, like, the one the one that I hit just now, the first one? I could have sworn it was that one. Yeah, it has to be randomized. Or maybe it's a case of... No, that doesn't make sense. Okay, it's it's randomized. That's all it is. Put the, sh put the sword away, Link. There we go. Has to be, because in my practice one, it, run, it was the one that was right here. 100%. Anyway, there's our, uh... Why are you giving me a Deku Nut? There you go. There's our core. Let's just shoot it. Hey, Naburu. The spirit barrier is dispelled. Hurry up, kid. I thought you were done calling me kid. You're all like, oh, he's such a handsome young man. And I'm like so much older than him, so it's creepy.
Does it ever occur to anybody else that Link may also have the mind of a seven-year-old child? Not, no, not a seven-year-old. However old he was at the beginning of the game, like, he still has the mind of a child. Because to him, only a few seconds passed. I don't know. That's just, that's just what I think. Okay, this is, uh... Oh, wait. Oh, okay, I was literally just drawing my sword, and I spammed the button twice, and I killed him. Anyway, this is Forest Temple. This is Forest Area. Just rupees. This is a very easy puzzle. Um, I would suggest, um... I'm gonna actually break tradition a little bit. I'm going to put Din's Fire over here, because I need to be somewhat quick. And I'm just going to use Din's Fire to light all of these torches. And then you can shoot an arrow through the fire, or you can just shoot a fire arrow. Man, I hate these fire arrows. You gotta be like dead on the target. Yeah, just make sure all the torches are lit, and then uh, and then that opens up the bars. Okay, I need I need actual magic now. So let me uh, let me put that back, and then I'll just do that because I'm going to need I'm going to need more. Uh... Oh. That's right, I remember this room now. This room I actually don't like. Alright, well, Nobby seems to think there's something here. Song of Time Block. Uh, let's see. We've got fans everywhere, so I need to be very careful. I'm going to just go ahead and save because I don't want to get stuck. This room, this room actually is, is annoying to me. Okay, so now what's interesting is if I jump while the fans are never mind. I'll shut up I was about to say if I jump while the fans are blowing I usually get a blast of air that will push me over to that platform, but that didn't seem to be the case. Oh Try it now. Yeah, look at that All right, I need to kill you sir. You are actually in my way I'm watching out is he gonna take two hits no he's gonna take one all right, what should I do? This is just so. This is a. This is. It's just very tricky because you need. Well, do I even need the hover boots to make this jump? I may. You kind of want the hover boots, but it's also like you. You wish you could do it with the iron boots, so that way the fans wouldn't bother you. All right, now how am I supposed to? Hmm. There's a way. There's a way I'm supposed to- Oh, yeah, duh. Obvious switch down there. Why I did- Why I thought that would be a good idea, I don't know. Uh, let's try that again. Let's actually jump from this- Okay, never mind. I see- I see what you want me to do, game. You clearly want me to use the hover boots, and I'm just too stubborn to do that. See, I like Link jumps at a, like, diagonal angle right there if you try to correct it. And that's what's killing me, is because when he jumps at that diagonal angle, he will not, uh... He will not, uh... Grab onto anything. Alright, anyway, that made this thing appear, so that's what I need. Alright, what am I missing? Oh, that. Uh... I guess... Just do that. And do that and climb up here now I don't know if the iron boots will allow me to jump um, you know to make that like you know sort of little jump move that he does at the edge of the platform they probably won't so this is probably going to fail but I'm gonna try it yeah no that doesn't work okay yeah good to know it doesn't work you're probably supposed to use hover boots uh see what I'm talking about see that little See that little angle, jumping at an angle thing? Don't fall off, don't fall off. They fell off. Okay, you know what? Let me just wait. Okay, no, 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 just, just, just chill here for a second. Just chill. Climb back, okay, climb back up. And get on cross, okay. I hate that room. Alright, I need magic. Like, really badly. 
Well, I got some magic back. Alright, let's use another light arrow. And take a good aim, and BAM! Saria! Rydia! The forest berry is dispelled! Hurry up, Link! I'm working on it. All right, five down, one to go. And I guess technically you you had to do the shadow, um, you need to do the shadow one before you can even get to this one. Because to get to this one, sorry, I had a little hiccup problem. To, to even get to this one, you need uh, the golden gauntlet so you can deal with this piece of... Um, to this giant rock here. So yeah, with power like this, all we gotta do is just punch Ganon in the face. That should just take care of everything. Who needs the Triforce of Power when you got the Gauntlets of Power, right? <clears throat> this room's actually fun. Okay. So there's some invisible stuff here. So let's use our lens of truth. Um, okay, now, as you can see, there are some invisible keys, or yeah, keys, that uh, in this room on top of chests. Now, the chests that they are on top of, you wanna open, well you don't have to, but those are the chests that you want to open. The other chests, the ones that have nothing on top of them, they have uh, ice traps inside, so I'm just not even gonna bother opening them. So only open the ones that, um, you know, have a key on top. To be honest, you don't have to open up any of them because they just, um, they just, like, they just have throwaway items. But you do want to kill all the keys. Oh, is he, uh, I thought that was a magic bottle. I was like, I was getting excited. I was like, oh, he dropped a magic bottle. No, he didn't. Okay, just to open up this. And we got a small key for this locked door right here. All right, let's 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 keep on going. All right, well, this is, uh, this is uh, clearly a uh, very simple puzzle. Just use uh, the ocarina to play Zelda's lullaby on the Triforce panel. I heard somebody say, why would Ganondorf uh, have that? so obvious like right like right outside his door like why would he do that and remember he wants link to find him you have to remember he wants because he needs the triforce of, of uh courage now why he didn't just greet us at the front door i don't know much less why he didn't just uh kidnap us when he had the chance anyway i'm done talking about that this room's actually slightly annoying Um, yeah, so there's some rupees, and what's going to kill you, some silver rupees that you want to collect, and what's going to kill you is, ah, uh, is your camera. That's what's going to mess you up. Oh boy. I have to, I have to run a circle. There we go. I think that's all of them except for the one up top, which I can just snag like so. All right. I'm surprised I didn't take any damage from that. All right, well, th th there's nothing here. Oh crap, there's a wall master. I forgot about him. But yeah, Lens of Truth shows that there's a secret thing here. Um, let me just, um, please give me some magic. Actually, you know what? I don't even care about magic. I just realized I'm going to get a full refill here in a minute. All right, this is the last core. Let's do this. I just thought this this final area is so laid back compared to the others. Hey Raru. 
The light barrier is dispelled. Hurry! Okay, okay. You guys gotta quit rushing me, man. I will take care of this on my own time. All right, that works. Now, I got to check something out real quick before I do anything else. Because I'm seeing this bridge lead to a conveniently placed doorway. Uh, no, let's actually go this way. D D D D D D D. Matter of fact, let me save right here. Okay, looks like the only way to get to that bridge back there Okay, I guess it's just the normal pathway will take me that way. All right, that's that's good to know. All right, but um, we could go through that doorway, but there's something you might want to do after you have collected the Golden Gauntlets. You might want to leave uh, Ganon's castle and do something. You don't have to, but it might be a good idea. I advise it. You just do this after you have um, collected the Golden Gauntlets. You want to go all the way over here. And there's some boulders blocking you, which you can uh, deal with your hammer or with your silver gloves, whichever you like. But there's this thing right here. Let's uh, pick it up with our newfound strength. And just toss it out of the way like it's nothing. And then we just go right through this area. And it is the final Great Fairies Fountain. All right. Now, compose yourself. It's just a fairy. They, they've, all, they've all looked the same. I'm ready for this one. It's not going to bother me. Ah! She popped out earlier than the other ones did, too. They usually give me the warning giggle. She didn't. She just cut straight to the... To the scar his childhood, you know, I mean, it, whatever. Anyway, Great Fairy of Courage, she's going to enhance our defensive power. Receive it now. And yes, she added outlines to our hearts. It's actually very useful. Your defensive power is enhanced. Your defensive power has been enhanced. Damage inflicted by enemies will be reduced by half. Considering we're uh, ready to go to the final boss, that is going to be very handy. Not that the final boss is terribly difficult, but I would rather have all of... I would, I would like to have every buff I can get. All right. Well, let me just get back to where Ganon's castle is. And don't worry about that right there. That's the thing that was over there and Link tossed it over here. It didn't it just didn't disintegrate like the other ones usually do. And where's our rainbow road? Yeah, there it is. And just snake by you guys. All right. If we go through that area, we will begin the final, final, final stretch of the game. We will we will head to the final boss. Um, and that's going to be. I'm going to save that for its own video.
So, in the next video, we will go through there. We will find Ganondorf. We will kick his butt and hopefully save the princess. Thank you so much for watching. My name is 480 Volts. I will see you guys next time. You have a fantastic rest of your day. Pieces!